Hello, I'm Dave Newell. Welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to talk about leisure batteries. We have four main types of leisure batteries in common use in motorhomes. Open lead acid, seal lead acid, AGM and gel. The main differences are the open lead acid, as the name implies, has open cells with a removable cap so you can top up the electrolyte as required. Seal lead acid is very similar except the cells are sealed and maintenance free so there's no topping up required. AGM, similar construction but the plates inside are constructed on a fiberglass frame that absorbs the electrolyte so they're spill proof. Again, maintenance free, no topping up required. And the gel, where the electrolyte is actually in the form of a gel paste. These two are completely safe, you can tip them over, there's nothing to leak out. The other major difference is the wet lead acids and the AGM to some extent are safe to be discharged down to about 50% on a regular basis and recharged. The AGM can go a little bit deeper typically. The gel batteries can typically go to 80% discharge before being recharged without harming them. The lead acids and the AGM can supply higher currents than the gel without harming them. Also they can take a higher charging current than the, than the gel. The lead acid batteries are ideal if you're camping on hookup sites mostly because of the, the shallower 50% discharge rate available. You won't harm them because you'll be on hookup most of the time. They will supply the power you need for short periods, the odd night or two, without doing them any harm. If you're going to be camping off grid, as it's often referred to these days, then the AGM and the gel batteries are better suited to it. One of the best ways of killing a battery is not recharging it properly or quickly. When you've been using a battery and it's depleted, you need to recharge it as soon as possible. Leaving the battery in a discharge state will cause permanent damage to the battery. Onboard charging systems in most motorhomes consist of three types. Mains charging, where you're on hookup, the mains charger will charge the batteries and also provide you 12 volt power direct for your equipment. Um, they can also be charged when you're driving. The alternator of the vehicle is usually set up with what's called a split charge system so that when the engine's running it's providing charge to the leisure batteries. A lot of the very basic systems will start off with a high current but rapidly drop off to a very small trickle charge. So it will take quite a while for them to recharge fully via the engine unless you have a battery to battery system fitted. What that does is it fools the alternator into giving higher output current for a longer period so the charge goes into the batteries faster. If you're doing a lot of wild camping off grid then a battery to battery charger may well be a good addition to your setup. You can have multiple batteries, typically motorhomes come from the manufacturers with just one battery fitted. Um, UK motorhomes tend to be the lead acid types, some will use AGMs, very few British vans come with gel. A lot of the German and Continental vans come with gel, um, but the gel are much more expensive. Typically 100 amp hour open lead acid battery, you're looking around about £100 for a reasonable quality one. A gel battery of a similar capacity, you're typically looking three to four hundred pounds. So broadly speaking, if you're camping mostly on hookup sites, but with the occasional night or two away from hookup, the lead acid types will do you fine. AGM, good batteries. If you're camping more off grid for longer periods, a week or more, then the AGM or even the gel are much better suited to it. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you again next time.